and at the Children's Hospital to listen and keep this little girl on life support. Now at 8, pressure does continue to keep a 13-year-old girl on a ventilator. 200 people marching today near Children's Hospital Oakland. A judge has ordered the hospital to keep Jahai McMath on life support. That's despite the fact she has been declared brain dead. Jahai's family say that uh, they want to spend Christmas with her. She was declared brain dead after complications with a routine surgery. Cronford's Alicia Reed is live at the hospital and has the latest. Alicia? Well, Catherine, the family welcomes this news, saying it's a weight off their shoulders. Now, they tell us a lot of testing was being done on Jahai today, and as of now, they're all upstairs in support, waiting and supporting each other. Now, doctors are only allowing one person at a time in the room with Jahai. She was declared brain dead about 10 days ago, but that court order document from today issued a temporary restraining order authorizing medical treatment until December 30th. Now, so the family will at least spend Christmas with Jahai. Now, in the meantime, a court-appointed expert, Dr. Paul Fisher, will conduct an independent assessment on Jahai. This is what the family had to say. We're very excited now that we have the opportunity to spend Christmas with Jahai and not having to worry about someone coming in and pulling the plug on her. Um, and now possibly bringing in the new year with her as well. And, you know, all this is what we wanted is just more time for her to have an opportunity to wake up on her own. So, I mean, we couldn't be more grateful right now. Now, Dr. Fisher will be back in court tomorrow with his findings. Now, that hearing will be closed to the public because it has medical records of a minor. Reporting live in Oakland, Alicia Reed, Cron 4 News.